for the work we need is figure manometer and fan endoscope. The way of making. The patient should be seated comfortably with the back supported and the upper arm buried without constrictive clothing. The legs should not be crossed. The arm should be supported at heart level. You must first palpate the brachial artery in the antecubital fossa with the help of three fingers and place the cuff over the arterial pulsation. The sleeve should not be rolled up such that it has a tourniquet effect above the blood pressure cuff. They should be placed along the medial surface of the forearm. The lower end of the cuff should be 2 to 3 cm above the antecubital fossa. The bladder of the cuff should encircle at least 80% of the arm circumference. It should be put so that you are able to put two fingers under the cuff. Place the bell of the stethoscope over the palpated brachial artery in the antecubital fossa. Indirect blood pressure measurement requires that occlusion of the brachial arteries produced by gradual inflation and deflation of an appropriately radial sized cuff. The cuff should initially be inflated at least uh, to 30 mm of mercury above the point at which the radial pulse disappears. The recommended deflation rate is 2-3 mm of mercury per second. The first and last audible sounds should be taken as systolic and diastolic pressure. Repeat the measurement several times in 1-2 minutes. After every measurement, release all the air from the cuff. If you get the same values of pressure, then accept it as a regional. There are three types of normal arterial pressure in the systemic circulation. Optimal systolic is less than 120 mm of mercury. Diastolic pressure is less than 80 mm of mercury. Normal systolic is less than 130 mm of mercury. Diastolic is less than 85 mm of mercury. High normal systolic is less than 130 139 mm of mercury. Diastolic is less than 85-89 mm of mercury.